share costs from Logan are sky high. Or if you're budgeting for a trip to fly out of town somewhere, you really need to factor in your cost to and from the airport, if you're, especially if you're taking a taxi or a ride share app. It's getting that expensive. We're seeing very Lots expensive money, fares. Riders. We're seeing very long wait times from a number of people. In fact, we talked to riders this week who waited more than an hour for a taxi. Another who yeah, uh, it's because paid Uber's screwing you around, left just screwing to get you around. from Logan Airport to Quincy, a short trip. The reason for this could be a shortage of drivers. You add 100%. that to the return of surge pricing, which is now allowed 100%. since the COVID-19 state of emergency was lifted. Rideshare companies Uber and Lyft are hoping drivers will get back on the road. And we talked to one driver who said that doesn't seem to be the case, at least from what she's seeing out there. Sunday nights at the airport, always busy. I'm making a killing, don't get me wrong, but I wish they wouldn't raise the prices so high that people are miserable and they don't want to take the service because it doesn't make sense financially. So Uber says that it is boosting drivers' earnings and Lyft didn't respond to our request for comment here. Reporting live at Logan Airport, Monica Medea, NBC. Of course they don't respond, man, because they don't have a solution. These executives don't have a solution to the problem they created right they created this mess they created this mess huge shout out to um, legal right share check them out online if you have been deactivated they have a deactivation process which costs 25 dollars if you have been in an accident call them immediately now your experiences at logan do share them please or any other experiences around the country and um Make your suggestions. Again, drive safe and please subscribe and like.